Julian Nagelsmann's appointment as RB Leipzig coach saw the coming together of Germany's brightest young tactical mind and one of the country's most innovative clubs. After several seasons spent competing at the top of the Bundesliga, Leipzig now appear increasingly ready to challenge Bayern München's dominance, having won all of their opening three fixtures. Nagelsmann is flexible in his approach and varies his system depending on a combination of factors such as the opposition and the score. So far, he's already experimented successfully with three different shapes. Against Union Berlin, he utilized a 3-4-3. Against Eintracht Frankfurt, he implemented a 5-3-2. And in the win over Borussia Mönchengladbach, he deployed a 4-2-4. Nagelsmann's debut campaign has started well. Leipzig are scoring more and conceding fewer goals per game than they did last season. Their shots per game has declined slightly, but the amount of shots it takes them to score has improved drastically. Their dual rate is the same as it was last term, when they were one of the Bundesliga's finest defensive teams, while their past success rate has gone up by 6%. Changing shape for each game has enabled Leipzig to press effectively against opponents with different attacking schemes. Against Union Berlin, Leipzig's defensive shape was a 3-4-1-2. Strikers Timo Werner and Yusuf Poulsen were responsible for pressing their centre-backs and full-backs whenever they had the ball, while Marcel Zabitzer took up a position just behind them and covered the opponent's deepest midfielder. This made it hard for Union to get time on the ball when building out from the back, forcing them into long balls. In the win over Frankfurt, Leipzig's 5-3-2 shape saw Werner and Poulsen block the centre, forcing opposition sweeper Makoto Hasebe to pass wide to his outside centre-back teammates. From there, one of Leipzig's number eights would close down the ball receiver while blocking the pass back into central midfield. Having shown Frankfurt down the line, Leipzig's wing-backs, Lukas Klostermann and Marcel Hustenberg, would track their opposite men and, along with the nearest number eight and number six Diego Demmer, create a numerical overload near the touchline to force turnovers. Away to Borussia Mönchengladbach, the flexible Nagelsmann opted for a completely different approach, setting his team up in a defensive 4-2-4. The front four of Werner, Poulsen, Zabitzer and Emil Fershberg stayed extremely compact while moving laterally to closely cover the opposition centre-back's passing options. Unable to play into central midfield, Munch and Gladbach were forced into sideways passes which triggered Leipzig's pressing. One of the front four then stepped out to pressurise the ball player while simultaneously blocking opposition midfielders behind him. Now Leipzig's pressing is highly effective and they are equally impressive when they lose the ball. In defensive transition, they counter-press instantly, usually with two or three players rushing the opponent in order to try and regain possession immediately. Nagelsmann has also changed Leipzig's attacking style, implementing a greater focus on building possession through the thirds. The centre-backs exchange passes and look for openings to play through the opposition's defensive block, generally avoiding the central midfielders and instead looking for one of the forwards dropping deep to receive. Possession is progressed quickly through one-touch passes, layoffs and one-twos. When receiving, the forwards will generally set the ball back to one of the central midfielders or play out to the wing-backs, who will in turn play the ball to a more advanced teammate or return it to the forward who initially received. These combinations, executed at devastating speed, are very difficult for opposition defences to handle. Even if they can just the centre of the pitch, Leipzig are able to move forward in the wider areas efficiently. They will get the ball out to a fullback or winger before playing diagonally into one of the attackers who drops into the space between the opposition midfield and defensive lines. Alternately, they can draw the opponent to one side before switching to exploit space created on the other side. Nagelsmann's Leipzig are also a ruthless counter-attacking outfit, with Werner and Poulsen key to this particular aspect of the team's play. Poulsen prefers to peel away from the front line and receive to his feet before laying off to a runner, using his strength to hold off markers. At the same time, Werner, who has scored five goals in three games, looks to get into 1v1 situations or run beyond the last line through a combination of intelligent movement and searing pace. The pair offer Leipzig a twin threat, both in front of and behind the back lines, that defenders struggle to contain. Fast, aggressive, organised and exciting, Leipzig are the only Bundesliga team with a 100% record so far this season. They have ascended to the top of the table and under Nagelsmann, they'll be dreaming of staying there. Hello? Yes, you. Where are you going? The Bundesliga on YouTube. Subscribe now.
<laughs> Football as it's meant to be.